Welcome back for another EV video, one with a bit of a difference. We're off to collect our third electric vehicle, but no, not a car, two wheels. What am I doing? No, this is not a midlife crisis. I've been there and had the sports cars and the motorbikes. Um, it's whatever comes when you reach retirement, you realize you're getting too old, too fat, and uh, you sat on the sofa too much and you need to get out more. So I've bought myself a bicycle, um, but as you'd expect, an electric bicycle so we're off to collect it and today's video I thought I would do because you know I am a, I am a little apprehensive um, I am older I am fatter I am less fit considerably and the trip back is a bit of an adventure basically I'll put a map up now but over in Norfolk near the Norfolk Broads the road system basically is dictated by rivers so where we're going is on the other side of the River Year. Um, it's actually really close to where, where we live. It's only a few miles, but we can't get to it because you have to cross the river. So the way to do that is to drive all the way into Norwich, which we're doing on the A47. So we're crossing the river now <laughs> over the bridge, but this is the only way across the river unless you go all the way to Great Yarmouth, which is absolutely crazy. So it's a long distance to go a couple of miles just to cross the river. I'm going to go a country route and head across a chain ferry that gets across the river and that should cut three miles off the journey. But still, I've got to cross another river, the River Chet, so I've got to ride to Loddon and go out of my way, then go to the ferry, then head towards home. So it's a bit of an adventure, 16 miles. Will he <laughs> Which, make it? Yeah, will, will he make it? Um, it's a range test, not of the bike, but of me. Um, hopefully the bike will be fully charged and it'll have loads of range. It's supposed to have something like 80 miles range, but I guess that depends on how big, how heavy you are and how much you pedal. Um, so hopefully it's not an electrical range test, but it really is a range test of me. I have no idea how my backside is going to cope on the saddle. I have no idea how my legs are going to cope and what this bike's going to be like over a long enough distance. I've done a test drive, um, test ride on it and, it, and it was quite good. I didn't get out of breath much. So I'm sort of optimistic, but sort of apprehensive at the same time. So join me on this adventure, uh, my first time on an electric bike in several years. It's either going to be a great success being an advocate of electric bikes, or it's going to be a complete failure saying when you get as old and as big as me, don't do it, don't go on a bicycle. And I really don't know which way this is going to go. And this is a pretty big advantage of not buying online and the bike arriving in a box and having to do it all yourself. Yeah. Tim's custom fitting it for me, <laughs> so it's perfectly set up nice and tight and really comfortable as well but not the best of days is it the mud <laughs> the wet at least it's not freezing cold and the wind's not too bad after all so yeah almost ready to get going it's nice to see tim's gone electric as well with a smile bikes registration number on his new evito van let's have a quick peek inside there's so many nice bikes here and it's so peaceful out in the countryside. And if you want to know where exactly it is, it's opposite Langley School. Three and a half, three and a quarter miles from Claxton, three quarters of a mile from Loddon. So even if you're just thinking about a bike, come out and visit. Come and say hello to Tim and uh, he'll sort you out and fit you up for a bike. And before you know it, you'll be out test driving it, smiling and wanting one too. And if you do come in and visit, make sure you say hello to Oakley. <laughs> He's so friendly. I mean, what a lovely environment. A nice cup of coffee, a roaring fire and some gorgeous bikes. So many bikes. Like in Aladdin's cave. All the accessories, the helmets, baskets, grips, pumps, locks, panniers. That's something I need to sort out. I need to have a look at panniers. So I'm just about to set off 30% battery. <laughs> I was hoping it'd be full, but I'm told it'll be absolutely fine. Unbelievable if this really can do 16 miles easily on only 30%. 
So this is it, the hay bike or high bike, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, Trekking 6. This is the one with 630 watt hours of battery storage. So um, yeah, it doesn't sound like a lot <laughs> compared to the home storage, but apparently it will do nearly 80 miles or something. Yamaha motor, very impressed with this. Disc brakes on the back, disc on the front, suspension on the front, lovely comfortable handlebars. Tim has fitted me with a uh, more comfortable saddle. And the only option so far, I've put a uh, bracket on to have my phone, which as you can see, it's getting wet, it's raining. Perhaps I should have got the one with waterproof cover. Woohoo, he's off. <laughs> Lots of thorns on the road. So we've been cycling 24 minutes, that's on the screen here, seven miles completed so far. But seven miles and 15 of range left, that's 22, that should be plenty anyway, so looking good so far. Because we love our data, we're averaging 11.7 miles an hour. Not good. Told you there was thorns. Well, made it comfortably to Reedham Ferry. The ferry's now coming over for me. Wow, the water looks choppy.
A bit concerning seeing that bloody great thorn in the tyre though, so I sort of talked that up. Hopefully these puncture resistant tyres will hold up okay, and hopefully I'll make it home, but uh, I guess we'll see. This is what I wanted the bike for though. If you're wondering you know, why on earth, if I'm not commuting, those sort of things, why do I want a bike? It's to get out in the fresh air and just explore. And being electric, it's hopefully going to give me the ability to explore further afield. I might even be able to get across to the coast quite comfortably on this. The 20 mile round trip, 25, 30 mile round trip should be okay. I hear some of you saying, you know, 30 miles, that's nothing on one of these, but it's more about whether I can cope on the saddle that long. And a fun fact, although it's not this ferry, this is at Reedham, my grandfather used to be the ferryman at Brundle back in the 40s when uh, there was a ferry there. Helicopter on the horizon looks like they're sending out search and rescue for me. So we just stopped at the uh, rail crossing and flashing 1%. Doesn't look like we're actually going to make it.
So just 1% of range left. Maximum 24 miles an hour, quite impressed with that. Hour and six minutes. It's supposed to be 16 miles, but according to this, the trip was only 14.7, so I'm not sure if I took a shortcut somewhere. But thankfully, it didn't run out on me. So I'm just going to give it a clean before I put it away and put it on charge. No sign of Susan yet. It looks like I've beat her home. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me on this journey. And uh, did I make it? Yes. I'm not out of breath. The legs are a little bit, I wouldn't say jelly-like, but I can tell that I've been cycling. So about an hour is what I'd like to do and then take a break. But yeah, really glad I bought this bike. So um, one thing to say, if you're looking for an electric bike, go and see Tim at Smile Bikes. It really will put a smile on your face and uh, it's much better than buying online. We made such a mistake buying Charlotte's bike initially online and uh, warranty was just like a chocolate teapot. It was absolutely useless. The bike's broken and we've wasted our money. Buying a bike through Smile Bikes, having it custom fit for yourself. The handle grips have changed. He's put a mirror on for me. Saddle has been custom fit. I was actually custom fit for a saddle. There's a machine I can sit on and measures my backside. Very impressive. So thank you so much, Tim of Smile Bikes. I'm really, really looking forward to getting out some more on this. Anyway, thanks for watching the video, especially all the way to the end. And uh, no disasters, despite getting a thorn in the tyre. And uh, now off to the pub. Take care, see you again soon for more videos. Bye for now.